We spend a lot of time in Estes Park and Rocky Mountain National Park because of its beautiful scenery and abundant wildlife. But it all depends on the time of year and place when certain wildlife can be found in the area. Here is a countdown to our favorite places to see the wildlife of Estes Park and Rocky Mountain National Park. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a minute of Colorado Martini. When you think of the Rockies, you do not think of salamanders, but a very cool and strange looking salamander can be found at the gorgeous Lily Lake, just above Estes Park and within the borders of Rocky Mountain National Park. Although you don't have to go through the park entrance to access Lily Lake. The first time I saw one of these salamanders was in its larvae form. I was standing on a part of the trail that's like a boardwalk and when I looked into the water I could see a creature that looks like a fish but it had legs. It was the strangest water creature I had ever seen in the Rocky Mountains and it seemed like it just didn't belong. But my daughter says, that's a salamander. And I'm thinking to myself, that doesn't look anything like a salamander. But it turns out, after a salamander hatches, it's in the larvae state and looks nothing like it does when it metamorphosizes into a regular tiger salamander. While in the larvae state, it stays under the water and has got to be one of the strangest creatures I've ever seen in these parts. So make sure you have your camera ready. From, from there to here, I've seen the salamanders. I've seen some water snakes, I've seen a nitra, I've seen duck, and if this was the morning or the early evenings, I would see uh, probably some moose. So make sure you have your camera in hand and ready to go. I love going to Lily Lake. You can see moose and elk there also, usually in the morning or early evenings. Estes Park and Rocky Mountain National Park also have wild turkeys. We usually find the turkeys on Mary's Lake Road and near the Fall River entrance to Rocky Mountain National Park, which is on Highway 34. They can also be found on Bear Lake Road, which is within 
the National Park. You have your best chance of seeing them at dawn or dusk when they are most active. The wild turkeys wander year round, but we see them most actively in the fall. Within the area, you can find five major groups of bighorn sheep. Your best bet is Sheep Lakes in Rocky Mountain National Park during the spring, which is their lambing season. And you can see them throughout the summer months. In the parking lot of Sheep Lakes, you will find a kiosk which is usually stationed with rangers or volunteers during peak season. The sheep often cross the road to access the minerals found in the small kettle lakes within the area. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. We used to only see moose on the west side of Rocky Mountain National Park. We mostly would see them in the Grand Lake area. But recently, they have been seen frequently on the east side of the park, which is the side next to Estes Park. Personally, I feel this is due to the recent forest fires on the west side of Rocky Mountain National Park, pushing them to the east side of the park. Over the summer, I have seen them at Sheep Lakes and Sprague Lake, both times in the early evenings. It sound right, boy. Moose in the area can weigh up to 1,500 pounds. So you can imagine at that size, they are easy to spot, especially the males with their enormous rack of antlers, which can be as large as five feet across. Moose are active year-round. Look out for them in the Wild Basin area, which is south of Estes Park on Colorado Highway 7 and within Rocky Mountain National Park. You will also have luck seeing moose at Spray, Sheep, Lily, and Cub Lakes. To find moose, look for areas with water or swampy terrain. They feed from the bottom of the water and are seen often grazing in these areas. So we're at Sheep Lakes and there's a moose, female moose out in the water. See him out there? Got two moose right there, and me without my telephoto lens because I wasn't taking pictures of moose this time around. Nothing says Estes Park and Rocky Mountain National Park than its elk. As much as you want to see them in the wild, your best bet is the golf courses in the mornings and early evenings. There are two golf courses, the Lake Estes 9 hole and the Estes Park 18 hole. We have seen them in abundance at the 18 hole golf course. 
but you definitely can find them at both. But our favorite place is Moraine Park in Rocky Mountain National Park because with a telephoto lens, binoculars, or a scope, you can get fabulous views of the herd in the meadow. The best time to see elk in Estes Park and Rocky Mountain National Park is during the rut season in early fall. In September, visit Horseshoe Park, Moraine Park for Upper Beaver Meadows and you will see dozens of elk, not to mention the bugling of the bulls. During this time, you will also find herds of elk wandering the streets of Estes Park. You will also find tons of traffic. Our best advice is to come in the early morning and leave by 11 a.m. to avoid the crowds. This is the entrance on Highway um, 36. Uh, we find it to be a little more crowded, and as you can see, <laughs> why? Because everybody goes through the town, downtown area of Estes Park on Highway 36. So we always come in 34, and so we're going the opposite direction of all these people. So that's our big suggestion, is come in Highway 34, um, it's the highway that's right next to the Stanley Hotel, and then exit on Highway 36, going back to Estes Park. And they keep coming and coming and coming. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're going and going <laughs> and going. <laughs> I highly recommend that you take a trip up to Estes Park and Rocky Mountain National Park to see its wonderful wildlife. But be warned, these are dangerous animals no matter what time of year. But during rut, they are particularly dangerous and they will charge at a moment's notice. Note that the deer, elk, and moose are all in rut in the fall. And the males are especially aggressive. Never approach any of these animals. It is advised by wildlife experts to stay at least 25 yards away from large animals like bison, elk, bighorn sheep, deer, moose, and coyote. For safety reasons, all our video and pictures were taken with either a scope for our cell phones or a telephoto for our camera. A telephoto lens, binoculars, or a scope are your best friends when seeing the wildlife in this area. I recommend purchasing them before your visit. I put links in the description to the ones we like to use. Make sure to catch all our videos on the beautiful Rocky Mountain State of Colorado.